What's up, bikers? I'm Johnny Thompson from Fit for Racing, home of strength and conditioning for extreme off-road bike sports athletes. And today, I've got an extra special episode in conjunction with Downtime Podcast. I'm going to show you lots of movements that are going to help you become a better rider. One, two, three. Listen. <laughs> Chris from Downtime Podcast came back and we recorded an episode specifically for ramping it up in the gym in preparation for pre-season. So this is split up into mountain bike enduro and downhill workouts separately. So lots of the stresses are the same, but we're starting to work towards being more specialist on the bike. So the workouts in the bio and the show notes of the podcast are there for you to take a look at and use this video so that I can show you the movements, show you the techniques in the workouts so that you can perform them well and you know exactly what you're going to be doing in each of the workouts. Seated box jumps are a really good movement for generating power through the hip. So seated on a box or a bench, drive against the ground, land on the box, and repeat. You're gonna jump onto a box, a nice extension through the hip, generating power through the legs. As you land on top of the box, you're in a squat position. So you don't have to stand up all the way, just enough so that you can land and repeat. foot elevated split squat. It sounds a lot, but simply put your laces on a bench, make sure your front foot, foot is planted, and then go all the way down so you feel a stretch in the front of your back leg. And when you drive up, it's generating some power in your glutes and hamstrings on the front leg. Create some more instability with kettlebells. The kettlebells, We'll try and force you forwards. So it demands a nice tight core, which is gonna create more strength through your midline, as well as shoulder and hip strength. It doesn't take a lot of weight on the kettlebells to make this a more difficult movement. If you can't handle with light kettlebells, try with just one. And this might actually give you more oblique activation which is a really good stabilizing muscle that'll help for riding. The death march. This is such a good movement for bikers because as you can see, the step is replicating where your pedals are gonna be. And the change of angle in your hip is gonna create quite a lot of stretch through your hamstring and hip, but also as you stand, generating some power as well. All locked down by your core. So with the dumbbells in your hand, they're gonna try and encourage you to go forwards and standing up is gonna create even more strength through your hip. Now with the dumbbells, make sure you don't pick a weight that's too heavy that's gonna pull you forwards. The goal is not to hit the ground with them, because as you can see, that's changed the angle of my spine. What you wanna do is lock down your spine in a nice safe position and just lean over so your chest is going towards your knee, but you're not changing your spinal position. That'll keep you safe and nice and effective growth through the hamstrings and the glutes. Pull-ups are really, really effective for building probably the most important muscle on your back for bike control, your lats. This is the big muscle that runs all the way down. Doing a pull-up, a strict pull-up, is gonna create more strength here, but we're fully aware that it's gonna be difficult for a lot of people to do strict pull-ups. So there are many ways to scale that down. And during a capacity workout, one of those ways is a kipping pull-up. This is where you're gonna use your hips to generate power through and help your arms with the movement. But the caveat to that is, 
If you can't do strict pull-ups, then don't do kipping pull-ups. We want you to keep healthy shoulders and free from injury. So if you struggle with kipping pull-ups and strict pull-ups during workouts, then you can do jumping pull-ups. This is replicating the kipping position, but with a little help with your feet on the ground, scaling is not failing when you're doing jumping pull-ups. The purpose of the jumping pull-up in a capacity workout is not just to build strength. What we really want you to do now is become a specialist and be using these movements in combinations that are gonna raise your capacity and make you a better rider. Toaster bar is one of our favorite movements because as you can tell, it's gonna be so good for the core. Lat strength, shoulder strength, grip strength. So the crossover for riding is absolutely phenomenal. However, it's very difficult. So I know that lots of you aren't gonna be able to reach the bar with your toes. Don't worry, just go as high as you can. And you're gonna get lots of the benefit of the movement. If you can't do that with straight legs, then knee raises is absolutely great as well. So don't compromise the efficacy of a capacity workout just because you're struggling on to get your toes all the way to the bar. It's much better to scale down the movement, keep it very similar, but be able to do all the reps in one set. Burpees are pretty awful on their own anyway, but if you're doing a burpee over a box, it's gonna add even more of a dynamic effort, which isn't just gonna add to the difficulty and capacity gains, but your agility gains, especially because it's a lateral jump, so a sideways jump over something. Make sure that the height of the box is appropriate. If it's too high and you get tired, and you start tripping, that lateral jump is gonna be very dangerous if you catch a toe on the edge of the box. So what you can do is reduce the height of the box. The workout's still gonna be really effective because you're gonna do this lateral jump, but just make sure that the height is appropriate for your ability. balls. Such a good movement for generating power through the hip. We use this for muscular endurance workouts and the purpose of this is to get a full squat and extend hard enough so the ball's thrown and you're not necessarily using your shoulders to throw the ball but your hips extending hard and putting momentum into that ball. So don't worry so much about the target, focus more on the quality of the squat.
Now you've seen the demos of all of the workouts. You've got those workouts to try in the gym and start working towards your best 2019 season ever. If you've got any questions then send them over, email, Facebook or Instagram message or even comment below on the YouTube video. And then everyone can see and I'll answer hopefully all of those messages and try and help you become more winner rider. If you want to take it to the next level then visit our website fitforracing.com, use the code DOWNTIME50 for 50% off your first month. And then that way you get a good run at it, a full month, and you can see how you're going. There's no contracts, it's nice and easy to cancel. Just email us or go on, log on, and you're in full control so you can cancel at the end of that if you like. And that's that. I've been Johnny Thompson from Fit For Racing. Happy riding, happy gymming. See you next time. Peace. Like meekness, my weakness.